Welcome back to the Mystic Media channel. Here is the first of several free readings that I will be doing um, this month. So I will be doing some this week, but also later on in the month. I was supposed to uh, do some free readings last month. I actually did during the uh, first part of the month, but then I was supposed to do the rest. But I got really busy, and because I got to prioritize and all that, uh, they're kind of late. So uh, this one uh, free reading in particular, I wanted to actually do back in um, the beginning of March. But again, I got caught up with work and stuff like that. So this free reading is for Kate. And she wrote me saying, Dear Rabina, I subscribe to your YouTube channel and am always amazed and entertained by your reading. You obviously have a gift, plus the ability to explain your interpretations in a crystal clear way. I am learning a lot from you about astrology and numerology and appreciate the opportunity to ask you a question. My question is about the nodes of the moon and life path. With my south node in the 10th house and north node in Leo in the 4th, I have always been confused about what I am supposed to do in this life. I was a professional singer-actor for 15 plus years and was on Broadway four times. I always had a feeling of frustration, however, because I was either an understudy or a swing. In parentheses, she wrote, a spare actor who doesn't go on unless someone is out. It's like I was being teased or blocked. I had talent, but could only go so far success-wise. I left New York City in 2012 and have been at sea ever since. I'm not surprised you're saying you've been at sea because uh, you got that Pisces moon. So, um, but that Pisces moon is what makes you the artist, the singer, actor, all that. So you said, I am an artist. My question is, can you see from my chart why this is and how to live from my north node? I hope my question makes sense and I thank you so much if you choose to answer it. So, Kate, your main issue going back to your uh, singing acting career, uh, especially when you didn't uh, find success on, uh, you know, on the major stage, like on Broadway and stuff like that, always being an understudy, that deals with your 10th house south node in Aquarius, mind you. So in this lifetime, you can't really rely on um, external circumstances or outside factors or even companies, employers, corporations, all that stuff for you to be successful. So you have to be a success in your own right. And you have to basically create your own brand, your own shows and performances. And it needs to be more personalized. Your whole life needs to be more personalized. Uh, when you rely too much on the outside world trying to make it through, you know, Broadway would be considered the outside world because, you know, everything is being produced by someone else and you don't even have a choice in terms of what type of play or what type of performance you're putting on. You just have to basically, you know, follow the script that's already been set forth. So in this lifetime, that's not going to work. So you definitely need to create your own your own company, your own acting troupe, or your own type of organization, and you can find success that way. So, you have that Pisces moon in your 11th, and you also have your North Node being conjoined to Uranus in the 4th. So, that's kind of like one and the same, because Uranus and the 11th house are very similar. So. That right there is reinforcing what I said, where you need to create your own group, your own organization, um, create, if you want to, you know, be a playwright, create plays that have personal significance and that, you know, is more on, a, I'll say, cultural level, like something that applies to your culture in particular. And that moon in the 11th house can point to that as well. So. You can, um, I'm, I'm looking at that 11th house moon, it's in sexual to your Jupiter and Saturn, but I'm mainly looking at Jupiter in particular because it's in your ninth house. I'm looking at that as where 
maybe you could create your own YouTube series or create your own YouTube movies or whatever. Uh, you start looking for talent in your local area. You do have the moon ruling your third house, and that can deal with your local area. So think about going in that direction, you know, establishing something of your own, something that you can call your own, and trying to be a success that way. Also, um, I'm seeing where you would do really well with teaching. So whether teaching acting or, you know, giving vocal lessons, creating an acting school or a school of performing arts, and it doesn't have to be anything major. It could be something small. Um, again, on a local level where you're putting on workshops or whatever like that, you could team up with your local YMCA or your local community college and see about creating some type of program. You have Mars conjoined to Mercury and Libra. It's in the fifth house, and that's what makes me think about, you know, creating your own uh, school or creating your own program for people who have various talents to learn from you. So you are basically uh, put upon this earth in this lifetime to teach other people what you know. And that's very much that Mars can join the Venus. I'm sorry, Mars can join the Mercury in Libra in the fifth house. So let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, you can either email me or post a comment in the comment section. Your life path number is uh, 31. That breaks down to four. So 31 and four, basically, you do need to go your own way in life. You need to be very independent. Now, while that 31 and four does relate to that Aquarius South Node, as you can see, you also have that Uranus conjoined to your North Node in the fourth house. So that is reinforcing that 31 four life path number as well. So you have to lean more towards the North Node end which is, since it's in that fourth house, yes, your life needs to be much more personalized. You need to be creating your own brand, your own shows, your own performances, like I said, and you very much are an inventor in this lifetime. So you really need to make the most of that aspect. North Node can join to Uranus, and you will be able to attract some talent if you decide to create your own acting troupe or, you know, start putting on local plays and things like that and you have a talent for writing big time so again let me know what you think and um if you would if anybody would like a chance for a free reading for next month you can uh send me an email just write free reading on the subject line leave your birth information that is your date location and time and you may be selected for a free reading. If you would like an in-depth reading now, you could go to my website at Rabina.com. Peace and many blessings, and I'll be back with some more free readings.